On Thursday, Haitian police retook control of the Varro fuel terminal, the most important in the country, which stores more than 70% of the country's fuel supply. Following a sharp increase of fuel prices, former police officer Jimmy Scherzer, nicknamed Barbecue, leading a coalition of armed gangs, the G9, hijacked the Varro terminal late in September. He was demanded the resignation of Prime Minister Ariel Henry, the participation in the new government, and the elimination of all arrest warrants against him. Retaking the terminal was a two-day operation carried out by a temporary anti-gang unit, which cleared the roads leading to the site. The government announced that as of next Monday, all services stations in Haiti will have fuel and there will have vowed to take all necessary measures to allow the country to resume normal life. The lack of fuel caused the disruption of the school year. The closure of the essential facilities like water treatment, plants and hospitals in the midst of a cholera outbreak which has caused 60 deaths so far.